Hi all, welcome to this week's edition of Let's Talk About Life and everything going on about that. Definitely enjoying kind of opening up about all of this folks, so welcome to Smash Likes as always. Sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at G is Legend. All links are down below for plus lists on the channel and social media links as always. Welcome to that notification bell so you know when uploads are up on the channel. I feel it's good to kind of divert away a little bit from FIFA, lets me talk about like um, fitness, health and everything going on about that and also lets you guys kind of welcome to open up as well I feel it's kind of important to kind of like open up and if there's stuff that is bothering you then it kind of helps just to kind of let it out and this is kind of why I do this video so for me, um, over the last week I've kind of been toiling um, initially I was toiling over the weekend um, everything was just kind of, I was just feeling like crap basically in my eyes I was, when I was looking over everything I thought my life was kind of pretty perfect, like, w w like my life felt quite pathetic, like what have I done with my life? And then it just felt like I d didn't really amount to much, like I thought to myself, oh I've got this amount of followers on Twitter and Facebook and YouTube, um, I've done this for like, education, I've done this for fitness, I've done this for sport, I've done this for like relationships, everything was kind of like, when I was breaking everything down I thought, and because I think my mind was just crap, it was like, what on earth am I doing with myself? Like, wh where am I? Where am I going? Like, what's kind of like, like, because you, you some obviously you see people like if you're a sportsman or a celebrity, they're kind of they might be successful, but obviously sometimes there are always things going on behind the scenes that you never know about. And I think for myself, it was kind of like maybe kind of that kind of scenario in a sense where I thought, what if I really like can I really be like proud of myself and then it took me um, Monday, Tuesday and yesterday to kind of sit down and say shut up Graham you've you've done you're like what you've done for uni is unbelievable what you've done for work is unbelievable what you've done for sport kind of like everything fundamentally over my life I thought Graham you've had tons and tons of hurdles put in front of you and you've smashed them and it's like, why, like, yes, some things haven't, haven't been as successful lately for you, but hey-ho, it's like, and I think it's because the negativity of pretty much the last year is like snowballed. It, like, for me, it's not really been even the last year, it's been kind of like the last nine months. And it ties into my ex, um, things that happened when I was on holiday, and it kind of, made me kind of just struggle really and I thought uh it's kind of it's been the last nine months is where it's kind of been and I think it's kind of why over like the summer um especially when I tried to change my fitness routine like I went f over like the summer holiday period if you want to call it like June July August when I could and because also how um my life was at the time because I had to kind of step up a lot more looking after the family a lot more and um, kind of prioritise mum and like my mum and dad especially and because I was up even earlier than I usually was it meant I was in the gym early and I was in for longer um, where I could but also I was trying to do so much more and because you're trying to prioritise like your gym you're trying to prioritise like your family and you're trying to prioritise a relationship but then at the time subconsciously and this is where a lot of the stuff for me has been kind of like the downfall over the last nine months is since the France holiday and it, I'll keep referring back to it is where the problems kind of like the root cause of all my problems um, between us and that's kind of where I'm right that's where I feel like crap like what caused it and in essence it was because when I was like crap my the ex kind of tried to um, kind of just do like nasty things. She tried to kind of like antagonize me. She tried to kind of like kind of upset me and kind of like annoy me. And she thought she thought it was a laugh. She thought it was brilliant, and I wasn't enjoying it. I was like kind of upset. I was angry. I was like saying, "Can you just please stop?" And I was got to the point where I wasn't speaking to her for ages. And like I'm not not like say five ten minutes. I'm talking like. Like good, like couple of like few hours, like where I would not talk to her. I was not like, I wasn't entertaining her. I was like, I'm not interested. I just want to be, um, focused on myself. I want to be, um, 
just kind of in my own, not just my own little world, but just where I'm much more settled. And what really kind of blew it over was that because of when I was upset, I decided like she went for a shower, and when we're in holiday, the first like the first few days, like the first day, it's first full day in, I decided to put the post up, a little post up on her iPod saying why I was like crap, why everything was kind of like overwhelming to me just now and why I just, just couldn't really handle um, stuff like life just now, I was kind of really genuinely toiling and I thought this would kind of like, at the time she kind of like realised I apologise, she completely apologised and realised look I shouldn't have been like this, I shouldn't have been like that, it was like, it, she meant it but then I don't know if it was like she took, tried to take advantage of my vulnerability or thought like sense of whatever, but she tried to initiate um, sex while I was vulnerable. Like I was already like crying and kind of just generally like crap, and she tried to initiate sex on me, which without consent. If you the minute you do that, like, it's like for me when I was vulnerable, I like. And like, even though I didn't have all my senses, basically, if you want to say it that way, I still knew like that's wrong, and I completely dashed off to the toilet in the room, went for a shower, released more emotions because I was like shit, and I thought, nah, like you don't do that. I, like, I didn't say enough of it then, but then she did it again when I was in Leo, like when we were in Leon, um, for the second time, and she st- and that was like days like. I think it was nearly a week later or something, yet she's still done it again. I thought, like, you've done it twice in a holiday. Like, when we have fun and all that, like, we like we know the boundaries and we, like, know where where things lie. And if, if we can't, if we don't go too far, then that's fine. And my biggest problem was I let that subconsciously bother me for nine months and I didn't speak about it, I let it dragged out and I think in my head, because I knew how much she kind of really annoyed, like she annoyed me quite a lot over the holiday. Yes, I like annoyed her a little bit in response, and but in a relationship, you will obviously have moments where you can do that to each other. You, but it's when it goes a step too far, is where I felt she went. She went a step too far on me, and that's where I was like, uh, excuse me. That's when kind of the trust goes out the window um, severely, but. At the same time, what I've noticed because of moments like that, like when I've when I opened up in after France to you guys on Twitter and YouTube and Discords and whatnot, when I explained how my overall mental health was then, when I spoke about committing suicide, I've, that was part like when I was about to, when I was going to commit suicide, on those like kind of days. It was it, funnily enough, it was the days after because. The day when she tried to annoy me, the 15 20 minutes when I was on the balcony, I did point like I only pondered the thought of it because I looked over the balcony. I thought, could I do it? Could I not? I thought, is it the easy way out? And then when we were in, um, like, Mon- we were in Monaco the day after, because there's so many high drops in Monaco that, um, for where we were walking, I thought, could I do it? And because the roads are quite narrow at times, you sometimes might get hit by a car. You, I was like constantly looking, thinking this car or van, and I thought mentally, I thought if I like normally, I would never, I would never think like that. I thought she subconsciously made me feel more negative and ponder thoughts like that, and I like I would never think like that. Like I wouldn't think, oh, I'm gonna jump off a balcony or think of that. But it's because of what's happened in the immediate moment has made me realise that. And I thought, why? I don't want to do that. That's kind of like crazy. That's not normal. And and I think even though in the end it could have been deemed something minor, in some people's cases, for me I felt that was quite severe. I thought, you don't do what you've just done to me twice. And like, like I know like what I like from... And what I thought was kind of like try to encourage her from um, when we have fun, and I know, and she knows what I like to kind of like. We, we know what our likes and dislikes were, but at the same time, I thought that's like she just completely. It was almost like she took the trust away from me, and I think that's why I let it drag out and drag out and drag out. Where I didn't feel as confident talking to her, I didn't want to like, I, like 
I had pondered started last year of looking to move in with her. I thought, well, I'm not just moving in with her, like, say, full time, but more time than I would be because of, like, work and life and everything. But because of, like, my family's health and how things went out with that, and also how the holiday went, I think subcon- it keeps coming back to me subconsciously that it's the little things that I'm like, nah, it's not on. And I thought, that's why I've just been like, I'm not wanting to be... Like, I'm happy to spend time there, but I'm not going further. And it's why I'm being more open to friends and family that I'm like, it's taken me this time to realise that. And that's why I've tried to now adjust everything accordingly again, because when, at the time, over the summer, I must have thought things about it. And it's taken me to read up stuff about it and open up and... I think, as they say, hindsight's a wonderful thing, but it is what it is, and we just get on with it. Like, it, like I'm an analytical person, but I'm now happy that I've been able to open up to friends, family, and just kind of just feel like I'm getting not just my life back, in a sense, but I'm just I'm more like me again. Like, I feel more buoyant, I feel happy, I'm absolutely... Like, I'm enjoying the gym, I'm enjoying um, giving like advice to friends and family and folk on Twitter, Discord, etc. about um, fitness, while FIFA's kind of like a back step, as it were, in a sense, but when I'm trying to do content, I enjoy, I'm actually quite enjoying putting content up. Like, I'm wanting to try and stream more again, and because like, last year I was like, I thought, like, 18, like end of 18, I was like, I plan to be more serious with streaming for 2019, but never materialised because of how things played out. I knew subconsciously it was other little things that were bothering me. But um, I'm looking forward to seeing what the year ahead holds, because um, I had my birthday last Thursday as well, so um, so obviously, kind of like from the last part of Let's Talk About Life, it was my birthday last Thursday and kind of how everything's played out, but I'm not really rushing into anything now. I want to just kind of take it step at a time, enjoy it, and just go from there. Because I want to see what comes of everything. Because I'm looking forward to kind of like, it's, it was sometimes it's like the next chapter of like your life, and sometimes you've got to have like the negative stuff to happen to kind of make the positive stuff happen. That's sometimes what you find. But I'm looking forward to seeing how things play out like as well with my health. Um, my legs have had issues the last few weeks. Um, I got told yesterday that the x-rays seem to be alright, but um, obviously I gave bloods yesterday as well, so we'll find out what re- results the bloods give, so hopefully next week when we get the next updates that hopefully were hunky-dory, because I've noticed especially this week, we've been more on my feet, that my legs seem to be a lot better, which is quite interesting, but I think that's because I've adjusted my training regime in the gym to kind of benefit my legs more. Even though I was already doing that, I've noticed I've done it more, even more this week and I seem to be feeling the results from it. I'm not seeing like the cracks, I'm not hearing the pops or everything's just quite fluid and I'm, I'm happy. Like everything, every day is going to be a challenge, there's always going to be something that comes about but I'm looking forward to seeing what challenges I get faced with, how they overcome them and I take it from there, but I'm, as a whole, I'm happy, and I'm positive, and I'm hopefully can just kind of be more like me again, that's the way I want to look at it, I want to be more like me, I want to be chatty, I want to be happy, I want to be what, what I'm known for, like just, even though I'm laid back, mostly a laid back person, but I want to always be known as like a happy, positive person, because that's, I like to help people, and that's what I want to be doing again, I want to be myself, so... I'm looking forward to the challenges that that brings and we take it from there, folks. So I'm going to wrap up on this note. Quite a fair bit, as I said. Kind of maybe rambled on a little bit as well, but we get there in the end. And then for I will put up on Twitter as well that I've said um, in the video today, because I want to kind of highlight it especially. But you're welcome to Smash Likes always, folks. Sub to the channel if you're new. Follow me on Twitter at Jesus Let me know how your weeks have been, um, what you've been maybe doing with fitness, health, um, maybe even... Because obviously Valentine's Day is next week, for example. Like, are you maybe preparing for that at all with maybe like a date or whatever? So, so have a good one, folks. Take it easy, and I will catch you all later.